Hey there guys and welcome to my Unreal Engine for Advanced Blueprints tutorial series. So as you know I might have done the announcement video of this tutorial series few months ago but I couldn't start it because I was a little busy with uh, the MS Accurate Hours project and other tutorials. Uh, so, so today I'm gonna start the tutorial series with, uh, give, by giving a small introduction to blueprints and what we can do using blueprints. So let's get started. So the first question you might have is what do you mean by blueprints? Blueprints is a visual scripting language which is used inside of Unreal Engine uh, 4, 5 or any other older versions. Actually this uh, programming language is uh, made by C++ I guess because when I checked the source codes uh, it goes at C++ so that's what I guess. And so this is a visual script in language which we can uh, yeah we can you uh, do our programming without writing any lines of codes but just dragging and dropping uh, dro uh, just creating nodes and hooking them up to each other connecting them uh, together like that so today i'm gonna give you a small introduction to uh, these blueprints and their interface and what we can do using them so let's get started with the next part so there are actually two main types of blueprint uh, blueprints so here if we cl click on this blueprints drop down we have blueprint classes and level blueprints so the here we can edit uh, one of the blueprint classes we already have inside our engine or we can just open the level blueprint so the main the main so the diff there's there's nothing that much of a difference between these two, only um, a slight change. So if we open up our level blueprint, it looks like this. So as you see, this is our level blueprint, the level blueprint of this third person example map. So if I go into my uh, content browser, open up the third person BP uh, folder, and then if we click on this blueprint class one then click on one of these so these are the most common uh, blueprint classes so i'm gonna pick actor for now i'm gonna name this test and i'm gonna open this up and this is how a blueprint class looks like so you can see the difference between these two so i'm gonna get started with this uh, third person example as you see one one of the more common features of both of these uh, are this graph so this is actually the graph editor so actually this is the uh, graph called the event graph we can create a new graph we can call it test so now this is the test graph this is our test graph and this is our event graph so you, so as you see this is called the graph editor and inside uh, this test one also we have the event graph i'll get onto that later so here as you see this is the area which we do uh, all of our coding stuff so if we right click it will give us this huge menu which is uh, broken into few parts like this it's not actually few there are lots of categories but when you're walking through all of these tutorials in this tutorial series uh, you learn this so i'm not gonna show you how to do any coding today i'm just gonna giving a brief introduction so this is the level uh, level blueprints uh graph here. so next we have this details panel by default you won't have anything in here so if we click on class defaults these are defaults of this class and currently i don't have anything selected over here if we select class settings we can uh edit our classes like uh, we can uh, edit uh, like edit our parent class uh, I'll teach you about those later and here we can add new uh, blueprint interface these are default ones I haven't even created anything yet this is a new project and so if to give you a small look of this I'll make a new variable called test I'll make it test one and here so this is the properties or the details about this test variable actually you see the variable name over here the variable type a boolean instance editable blueprint read only the tooltip 
uh, expose or spawn these things so i will be teaching every single option this every single thing in this uh, inside this variable thing when we get onto the variables part so for now i'm gonna delete this variable so here i'm i am done in uh, i'm done describing the, about this details panel next we have this graphs uh, this uh, my blueprint tab so here we have few categories so this is the place where it shows all of our graphs and we can create new functions we can create new macros we can create new variables or even even dispatches like this but i won't need this no. i i will be showing you one all of these in later videos so this is the third person uh, this is the level blueprint and uh, this one is also common for all of this tool by is also common for all of these classes uh, there won't be that much of a change actually there is no change at all uh, as you see no change at all so i'm not gonna explain that in this section then i'm gonna move on to the test or the blueprint class uh, part so as you see in when we take our uh, blueprint classes we have the, by default we have the viewport and we have this construction strip and the event graph so in case of level blueprints we only have the event graph or the graph editor but in blueprint classes we have all of these three so and the viewport is, so, is also a bit different this my blueprints tab have got, uh, moved a little bit down and you you have this components tab in this side so as you see the this side of the window is divided into like this so in this components one it will be showing you everything inside your uh, blueprint class so these are the actors inside your uh, blueprint class so uh, now i have added an audio uh, component and you can select an audio component here so once we place it in our level it, uh, we can use some codes like uh, some program code lines to make this thing play after a delay like that so and next we have this my blueprint uh, my blueprint that tab where i explained about that so net, let's move on to this construction strip actually this is a function as you see it's under functions thing and this is uh, this thing is uh, the code inside this is ran in once this uh, act is constructed inside a level so if i say uh, if i do a print string it will print that thing into uh, this uh, viewport like that so that's all about this construction strip and then event graph uh, the same thing and the details panel also the same like that so now i'm gonna be showing you how we can use these uh, classes or these code uh, script files inside our game so it's pretty simple so if I create a new uh, blank level uh, save this so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna hold this test level so this is the test level and I'm gonna open this things uh, level blueprint and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna write a small code in string hello so this is a small piece of code in uh, code so this is written inside the level blueprint of this test level so once we uh, come so once we are done with uh, this uh, code we have to compile it then we can save like that I forgot to explain about that so sorry about that so once you are done uh, writing a code inside the test level uh, let's reopen our third person example right? so let me just save this and now i'll open the level third person example right? save this again and if i open up the level blueprint of this uh, level we won't have any of those in here so actually it's a blank level so what if so eventually what you would understand is we can't access a blueprint class 
of another level in using another class or another level blueprint of another uh, level so that's a bit tricky over there so it's pretty simple like that so then in the other hand we can access the classes in any of our levels as long as this uh, test act is placed in one of our levels if i place my test and uh, place my test act over here so like that so we can uh, place this as long as uh, we have these blueprint classes uh, these classes inside one of our levels that uh, the code inside that uh, blueprint class will be executed once the player has begun so uh, so what you would understand is uh, we can uh, access any of those other uh, level blueprints using another level for a different it, we must use our in inherited level so you would understand it uh, when you're creating a game like that so that's uh, that so so the summary is that uh, there are two types of the blueprint script or blueprint uh, or there are two types of blueprints inside Android Engine 4 but there are more than two there are four four main types but I'm gonna I'm not gonna explain them here I'm gonna explain them later so these are the uh, two main types uh, blueprint classes and level blueprint so as you may know that now we can't access one uh, level blueprint of an, one level using another level and we we can always access uh, blueprint classes from any level so it's pretty simple and you might uh, and i'm sure you might be uh, familiar with the uh, you might be familiar with the interface of both of these types so so this is the level blueprint and this is the blueprint class like that so one when we started diving into the tut uh, tutorial series you might uh, learn more so this is the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye